A judge in Georgia just ruled that Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, who brought Georgia's election in case against Trump, can stay on the case, but with big conditions after a motion was made to disqualify her. It comes following accusations she had an improper relationship with a special prosecutor she hired for the case. Willis and that prosecutor have acknowledged a relationship but denied anything improper. I want to get right to our senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett. Laura, there is a lot at play in today's decision. Help us break it down for us. Uh, some tough language in here as well. Some tough language indeed, Kristen. This is not the result that the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, wanted, but it's certainly not the fatal blow that it could have been if Donald Trump and his co-defendant had got their way. So let's remember what the original ask was. The ask was to have the DA removed completely from the case over an alleged ethical conflict of interest for having her boyfriend, Nathan Wade, her then boyfriend, former boyfriend, lead the Trump prosecution. Trump and his co-defendants had alleged that there was a financial entanglement, that the two were taking lavish vacations together, and that that was all while the time that the state was actually paying his salary. That was the conflict that was alleged. The judge in this case this morning saying the defendants did actually not prove an alleged or did not prove an actual conflict of interest from all that financial entanglement. However, the judge is saying there is an appearance of conflict given how all of this played out, given all of the evidence that came out during the days long hearing there in Georgia. The judge is saying the DA essentially has two options now. As you laid out, Kristen, she can either remove herself and her entire office from the case completely, which would be a severe blow, or she can remove Nathan Wade from the case, which is perhaps much easier to do. And anybody else could certainly step in his shoes as opposed to wiping out the entire prosecution team.